thing with being an acquirer is that there's always going to be people who want to take that money from you. WorldPay is the largest acquirer in the world. We are a payment processing company, essentially. We're in 150 countries and we process 130 different currencies across those countries. We make sure the money gets to the merchants who are selling the goods. One of our reasons for looking to enhance our monitoring solution was in preparation for the 2012 Olympics in London. We wanted to make sure that we were able to capture all of those transactions where so many people were going to be coming into the city where we've got so many merchants. The system we had in WorldPay prior to Briterium was massively ineffective. Briterium was telling us that we wouldn't need to have walls. We could manage on models and artificial intelligence. That was a whole new concept for WorldPay. There was an opportunity there that we might be able to do something way more efficiently than we had uh, done previously and actually be more effective at doing that. The trick to artificial intelligence without any shadow of a doubt is data, historic data. So we went with the uh, money laundering solution first and then we rolled out to the fraud monitoring solution and then credit monitoring. And I think one of the moments for us was when the output from the models became more effective than the output from the rules. It goes much deeper than just looking at a transaction and it will look at things such as the geographic location, the time the transaction's done, the type of transaction, the type of card. It was dynamic so we could actually make changes really quickly, very easily, which meant we could be proactive as well as reactive. On a rules-based only system, you may have to generate 50 alerts to find that one fraud. With an artificial intelligence system, it will only need to generate maybe two or three to find that one fraud because it's looking for that unusual activity against what it's seen historically for that type of merchant. That's when the power of the Briterian system could really be seen to us. WorldPay is massively bigger than it was in, in 2011. Part of the business case was scalability, and we could see how we could expand with the Briterian system. We can make sure that we're looking at every single transaction we're processing. That's in excess of 20 billion transactions a year. It's an astronomical amount. The payments industry is changing, and it's changing rapidly, and we need Briterian, who's dynamic enough to be able to adapt as quickly as we need to adapt to those changes. We're rolling Briterian out across WorldPay globally as the new WorldPay, so hopefully that speaks for itself.